Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode, another epi- what? What? Welcome back to another video on Assassin's Creed Unity, and again, okay, these are some images which have been sort of revealed after the Lee 3 thing we have with Microsoft, uh, but here you can see the Animus stuff going on in the background, which looks very similar to the guillotine, like all the like, triangles, sort of like cut off edges, which is sort of what this game is going for, like, you know, French Revolution guillotine chopping people's heads off like from the demo um but yeah so you see all four assassins here obviously i believe arno is actually the one in the middle sort of to the right which sort of leads you to believe if he's if he's in the single player but also in the co-op either the characters as well so you don't really sort of know but it's just generally a little really cool image i'd love it if there was a full like resolution hd image out there so like you could have this as your wallpaper because that generally looks like a really really cool image to me and here's the front cover image for assassin's creed union you can see arno at the front alongside the rest of his companions. It kind of reminds me of the Brotherhood one, like the first time they had multiplayer, they included all the multiplayer characters. First time they got co-op, you include the sort of like co-op characters, but I kind of think they might be included in the single player as well as multiplayer. So you could sort of like, you know, get to know the characters a bit well. Uh, in the background, you see the guillotine, which they're showing everywhere, the Notre Dame Cathedral, and also you can see uh, all the flags. You can see they've got uh, heavy weapons, which means heavy powder is probably going to be returning, which is really, really cool. See heavy weapons coming back, and obviously he looks very well equipped with stuff, just very similar to Ezio who had loads and loads of tools, whereas Edward didn't and Connor didn't really. And you can see the Phantom Blade, which the guy on the right has got, clearly sort of getting it out ready for, you know, ready for a battle or something. But uh, yeah, the Phantom Blade generally is really, really cool, and I'm going to show you something about the Phantom Blade. Uh, next. Here you can see the Phantom Blade is a purchasable item which you can get, um, you know, from Ubisoft. They've been doing a lot of replica type things, so the Phantom Blade is one of those. Here's a close-up on Arno's blade, which generally does look kind of cool. It's got a really thin blade going on there, and obviously you can see his closed-up crossbow dart thingy uh which looks really really cool so you can see it close with varno and you can see it from different uh, like these blade from different angles but i think this is really cool because arno does look different from the trailer uh which we saw he wasn't wearing all this kind of like armor he's got on there like you can see different bits of sort of like not necessarily armor but his clothing looks different from the demo we saw so that leads me to believe you can purchase different outfit parts you can purchase like different outfits you can purchase different armor which would be really cool to have that in the game i would love to see that which would generally that'd just be really really cool these are the pre-order bonuses for Assassin's Creed Unity, weapon pre-order bonuses. You get a razor head spear, um, a pioneer battle axe, a, ma a maple hunting rifle, and an under over uh, pistol. I don't understand why that's uh, shoot twice, ask questions later. Uh, but yeah, you depending on where you pre-order it from, you'll get these different uh, pre-order bonuses, which is really cool. Um, I'm guessing GameStop would be the same as game in England. If you pre-order it from game, you'd get the GameStop bonus. I'm not too sure, but that is something... That looks cool, so you get all these different pre-order bonuses, um, which which just look like awesome weapons, to be honest. And here we have the final image, which is of the Assassin's Creed Unity Collector's Edition, which will be out of pre-order, which gives you a music box, an art book, a 16-inch Arno figurine, a collector's box, the official soundtrack, and single-player missions, which includes um, the Chemical Revolution, which we saw previously, uh, and it looks really, really cool. I'm guessing this isn't the best edition you're going to be able to get, this is probably the one just down from that, which will probably cost you about, I don't know, £70, £60, something like that. Uh, whereas the best one probably ends up costing you like 90 to to Um Just just a general sort of estimate from the previous games. Uh, but yeah, this generally looks really cool. Um, the collector's box is probably not going to be that shape because they always get the shape wrong in the promotional pictures, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this looks cool. Um, I'm probably going to pre-order something like this. Maybe this one, maybe... Uh, the, the better one, but I'm not too sure. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below about these different images I've shown you and what you're going to be getting. Are you going to be getting the, the blade? Are you going to be getting the collector's edition? Are you going to pre ordering it from one of those places to get those weapons? And what do you think of the box? I just think it looks really cool. Do you think it could be different? Like, what, what do you think about that? And what do you think about the demo as well? Because I did actually make um, a analyzation of the demo, which you can see at the end of the video. There'll be an on the outro screen, there'll be a link that you can click to take you to that. And I will see you guys next time. Paint our running, we've been shipped to shit. Dreaming my life with our all this shit. But lately, I've been, I've been playing hard. Send no more shooting cannons, I'll be sailing far. Paint our running, we've been shipped to shit. Dreaming my life with our all this shit. But lately, I've been, I've been praying hard. Send no more shooting cannons. I'll, I'll be setting fire